Like all classrooms, there are specific house rules and procedures that you will need to be familiar with to ensure that everyone receives a positive and productive learning experience. It is very important that you pay attention and develop daily routines according to the guidelines that I establish for this course. In this course, most rules and procedures revolve around three basic values. Be professional, be prepared, and be respectful. Value number one, to be professional, you will need to be on time. Meet all deadlines and produce your best work. Be a team member that others can count on. Deadlines are a major part of a producer's job, so don't procrastinate. Stay on task and dress appropriately for the task you are completing as well as following the district dress code. Value number two, to be prepared, you need to bring all needed materials and equipment, properly plan for projects, as well as listen to and read all teacher instructions to successfully complete course assignments. Value number three, to be respectful, show respect by what you say and do. Please respect property of the school district, teacher, and students. Students are encouraged to help each other but don't be a distraction that interferes with other students learning by talking loudly or leaving your assigned seat without permission. The following are some specific house rules and procedures that you will be expected to follow. Number one, let's talk about some building procedures. When arriving at the TEC, enter through the east door. The doors are timed to unlock at scheduled arrival times. If the doors are locked and you need to be buzzed in, go to the intercom and push the button labeled Video Production. It will call your teacher. Be sure to state your first and last name once you hear a greeting from the intercom. You will be buzzed in once you have been identified. For earlier arrivals, there is a student waiting area down the hall. Please be considerate of KOM and district staff in the building while in the halls by not making any disruptive noises or loud talking. Number two, when you arrive in the classroom, go to your assigned seat to log on and go online to view your learning objectives for today's instructions. Each assigned student location includes a numbered computer, a wireless mouse, wireless keyboard, and headphones. Please keep them in their assigned location so others can easily find them after you're done with them. Do not peel off labels, write on, or damage class equipment in any way. If you notice that any equipment is damaged, please report it to your teacher as soon as possible. Number three, throw away any food or drink before entering the computer lab. There is no eating or drinking in the lab except on special occasions with permission from your teacher. Crumbs and spills can attract bugs and damage classroom carpet and equipment. You may eat out in the hallway during breaks and outside of class time. I have posted signs throughout the room to help remind you. Number four, in this course, cell phones are not needed for instruction and are considered a distraction. You have several options regarding cell phones while taking this course. The first option is easy. You can put your cell phone away on silent in a bag, backpack, or pocket in the full duration of class time and the cell phone will not be an issue. The second option is to take advantage of the cell phone parking lot. The cell phone parking lot is a designated place that I have provided for you to park your phone during class. If you choose to use the cell phone parking lot for storage, place your phone in one of the numbered pockets with the number matching your assigned computer. So if you sit at computer number three, place your cell phone in place number three. If you choose to use the cell phone parking lot for charging, use your own charging cord. Plug your phone into one of the power strips 
and then place your phone into one of the lower pockets in the cell phone parking lot. The cell phone parking lot is only accessible before and after class. If you plan to store or charge your phone, you may not go and get it during class time. If your phone is not in the cell phone parking lot and is causing a distraction from working class, you'll be directed to park your phone and may pick it up after class. Students who do not comply or have repeated requests to park their phones will have their phones towed. A towed phone will be stored in the teacher's desk and will be turned in to the office at the end of the day. If a student refuses to hand over their phone to be towed, the student will be referred to the office. Number five, be on time. The tardy policy will be strictly enforced. This relates to acting professional and being considerate. It is disrespectful to me and the whole class when you are late because I often start class and would have to repeat what I've already said to everyone who is leaving me unable to help those who need it. Everyone is expected to be in their assigned location at the designated class starting time. Due to students being bused to this campus, some students may have later start and earlier dismissal times depending on bus schedules. Number six, save work often, especially for longer assignments. You do not want your work lost due to outside hazards such as power outages. Be sure to save assignments in their designated file locations so you can easily find them later. Turn in assignments as instructed. Number seven, print only when instructed by the teacher. Paper and ink are expensive materials that do not need to be wasted. Let the teacher know if the printer is not working or is jammed. Do not try to print again until the jam is fixed to avoid unneeded duplicates being printed. Number eight, follow the MISD computer acceptable use policy at all times. Number nine, designated class hours are intended for coursework, discussion, and critique. Your ideas and designs will thrive in an atmosphere of open interchange, so have fun, share your ideas, and your opinions respectively and constructively. Behavior standards including active engaged participation in critiques and discussion, attendance, and timeliness can influence your grade. As a participant in this class, you are expected to attend all classes. Class participation includes contributing to discussions and critique of your own and others' work as well as diligently working on your own and team projects during the class period. Students are responsible for seeking help when needed. Students who need special accommodations are responsible for working with the instructor and relevant school offices. Number 10, always log off computers before leaving class. You do not want someone else messing with your files or them needing to power down the computer so they can log on. Number 11, throughout class, please remain in your seat until the bell rings to ensure a safe and productive learning environment. No lining up at the doors at the end of class. Number 12, before leaving class, put all headphones, chairs, and video equipment back neatly where they belong. Place your headphones on the hook located behind the computer and push your chairs in. Leave your work area clean and throw away all needed trash or paper. Number 13, if checking out equipment for projects, be sure that you don't wait until it's time to leave. Log all equipment that you are taking with you correctly on the equipment checkout form. Be sure to watch the video on equipment checkout procedures. Shut down laptops that have been checked out before returning them as well so they do not lose charge. Number 14, when absent, you miss daily work. It is your responsibility to go online to see what you have missed in class while you are out. Come in before or after school and make up work. Do not expect to make up work during class time. 
It is your responsibility to take care of makeup work on time so that you will not have zeros. Let your teacher know if you are in danger of missing deadlines on assignments and projects. Number 15, let's talk about restroom privileges. All students are encouraged to use the restroom before or after class. With this class being double blocked, we will take a five minute break mid-class. When going to the restroom, you must only use the restrooms down the hall in the TEC building. Students that are found to be somewhere other than where they are supposed to be are subject to loss of privileges or disciplinary actions. This is a privilege, so don't take advantage. And remember, the hand sanitizer is located at the front of the class for after you return from the restroom. Students with special restroom privileges from the school nurse will be accommodated. Number 16. A majority of projects in this class will be team projects. Individuals will be assigned roles for each project and will need to do their fair share of the work while keeping to agreed meetings and schedules. If your situation does not allow you to accomplish an assigned role on a project, it is your responsibility to communicate with team members and your instructor in order to ensure that all team members contribute equally and the assigned project is completed by the due date. Number 17, there will be many times this year that you will need to leave this campus to work on team and video projects. Many film projects or interviews will need to be filmed during school hours at the various campuses or nearby. Keep in mind that this is a privilege that can be taken from everyone if something bad were to happen. A system has been placed to ensure that students are where they are, say they are going and for what purpose. When students and their team are to leave together during class time for filming projects, they need to do the following. Check out and test all necessary equipment before leaving. Ask permission from your instructor. Sign out on the sign out form to document where you're going, for what purpose, and when you plan to return. Do not ride in vehicles of student drivers without your parents' permission. Do not travel anywhere that you have not documented or received permission to travel to. Call or text Mr. Corsi if anything happens, such as an accident, change of location, extended time needed, or change of plans. Failure to follow these procedures may result in loss of privileges. Number 18. And finally, use common sense and follow all regular classroom rules that you have traditionally followed. Additional privileges can be earned as easily as they can be taken away if rules are not followed and trust is taken advantage of. If you follow these set guidelines, you will have the most productive and positive experience while taking this course. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.